this lesson, we're going to look at the bulk action pipeline change. Let's dive into the screen share to have a look. So with contacts, we looked at an overview of all of the different bulk actions that were possible. However, what I wanted to do was have a separate dedicated session to the pipeline change action against the bulk action menu. So let's look at this. If Brandon and Lauren are in a particular pipeline or they don't exist in a pipeline, maybe I want to very quickly change that by clicking pipeline change. So this is extremely handy because now most of the time you're running multiple pipelines. I can change them from this one to this one. I can choose the stage in which they should automatically default to. I can rename the opportunities, the source, the values, the status, and then give it an action. So this is really handy because you may be running multiple products, multiple revenue streams, multiple sales processes, or perhaps you have one sales process, but that's broken up into two different phases like a marketing funnel and a sales funnel. Being able to easily take records out of one pipeline and putting them into another, all the while choosing the stage and being able to rename all of these fields is extremely useful, very, very handy. That's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.